Hey guys, it's Penguin here and welcome back to another gold making video. In today's video, we're going to be going over a handful of tools and add-ons that you can use to improve your gold making in 9.2.7 with the region-wide auction house. Now, the reason why I'm making this video, as I've made a few add-on videos in the past already, I thought it would be a great time to give a little bit of an update. Also, I know a lot of new gold makers are coming into the scene, and hopefully I can help out those people. So of course, if you've been a long time gold maker or been gold making for a few months, you probably know these add-ons, but who knows, maybe you'll still learn something from this video. But if you are a beginner, you just started out, you're trying to figure out a good routine and all of that, hopefully this will help. And of course, if you are a more advanced player, feel free to leave any tips or tricks in the comments below to help out our new gold makers. But without further ado, we're going to get right into this video. Here we go. So we're first going to get a few obvious ones out of the way. Now the first on this list is of course Trade Skill Master. If you guys don't know what this is, it is basically the number one gold making add-on out there that I highly recommend and dare say required to make a lot of gold. Now I'm not going to go super in depth in this specific add-on as it's very popular already, but I do want to point out a specific part. Now, if you guys are familiar with TSM, you may know that the inscription data for milling as well as the jewel crafting prospecting data is normally false by default. Just the way TSM calculates, it generally gives you a pretty bad idea on what you're actually getting. So for kind of tool slash add-on number one, I want to suggest a group of custom sources. This is by another creator named Koya. I will have his video in the description down below, but I highly recommend importing these into your TSM to make sure you are having correct variables and it will likely turn things profitable if they're red right now. And so moving on, we have Auctionator. This is actually a competitor to TSM. This basically does the same thing. It helps you post, it helps you scan, you can shop, you can do a ton with Auctionator, but I have it on this list for the region-wide change of the auction house specifically. If you guys don't know, because of the new speed of the default auction house, TSM has gotten very, very slow with posting and cancel scanning consumables. So honestly, instead of using TSM these days, I actually use Auctionator to cancel as it is a lot faster. So my recommendation is if you are somebody selling commodities, definitely install Auctionator. Number three goes along with Auctionator and this is Point Blank Sniper. Now, as of this video, this sniper add-on is back on Curse. It was removed for a little bit, but it's back on. So, depending on when you're watching this, I assume it's not going to get deleted again, but if it does, that's the reason why. This add-on is basically the same thing as TSM Sniper, but it works off of Auctionator, and I just prefer the interface of this add-on much better. I also have a video tutorial on this add-on, which yet again, I'll link in the description below. Moving on to all of the people who love to vendor shuffle, I have two add-ons for you. Actually, we're gonna round this to three. The first one is called Quartz. Now Quartz is technically not meant for gold making, it is just a generic casting bar add-on, but the reason why I use it is because it gives you a time for your casting. So this is great if you're a gold maker, because if you have, you know, crafting a thousand rings or a thousand chokers or whatever you are shuffling, it will give you the exact time of your crafting queue. So it will say there's 40 minutes left, there's 34 minutes left, there's 20 seconds left, etc. And it's great so you can leave your computer and you know exactly when to come back. And so whenever you have your long queues finished, you need to sell those items, which I recommend scrap. Now Peddler, if you guys have heard of that add-on or you have that add-on, it basically does the same thing. What scrap does is you can go into your keybind settings and set a keybind to mark something as junk. So I have it set to my comma key and all I have to do is hover over an item, click on that key and it marks it as junk. If I open up a vendor, I can click a button and it automatically sells all of those items. So it's great for vendor shuffling because you can fill up your inventory. 
open up the vendor, mark that as junk, and be good to go to mass sell them. Then lastly, for the vendor shufflers and anybody who does a large amount of crafting, we have buy em all. Buy em all is a small add-on that allows you to buy vendor materials in bulk. So technically TSM does do this. However, I am kind of scared of the TSM vendor UI. That sounds weird, but I don't like it. So I like this more traditional style buy em all. Also, to all the non-TSM users out there, this will be for you. Continuing on, let's say you are not a vendor shuffler, but you enjoy scrapping. And yes, you heard me right, we're talking about the BFA scrapper, but we're going to talk about easy scrap. Now, this is very familiar with normal scrap, so don't get the names confused, but easy scrap is for the BFA scrapper specifically. What it does, it will automatically queue the items you're scrapping, and all you have to do is click the scrap button every nine items. So it's not a fully automated process, but it's semi-automated and it saves so much time. Moving on to the pet sellers out there, I have two recommendations. The first one we have is Battle Pet Cage Match, which is an automatic caging add-on. You can go into the settings of this add-on and set up a min price for your pets. And this utilizes TSM pricing data, which is really awesome. Then after that, it will automatically cage all of the pets that meet that specific requirement. And then it just automatically cages and saves you so much time. If you guys are pet sellers, especially on multi realms, I highly recommend this add-on. Then to go along with battle pet cage match, we have pet tracker. Now this add-on does quite a lot of things, but the one I wanna highlight is that it gives you a source for each pet. So if you are browsing pets to buy to resell later, it will say if it's from a vendor, it will say if it's from a dungeon, a rare, a specific chest, whatever it is. So you can just get a better idea of that pet all around. Moving on to our second to last add-on, we have TLDR missions. Now this is a mission table add-on that basically automates the process. You can choose which missions you want to prioritize, you can choose exactly how many followers you want to send out, how much anima you want to spend, all of that, and then at a click of a button it will automatically send all of your missions and complete the ones that have finished. This saves so much time and as you guys probably know, mission tables at the moment are a great source of raw gold. So to any gold makers out there, you technically don't even need to be a gold maker. If you have level 60 tunes, this is a must have add on. And lastly, the last add on is a little bit of a unique one. And this is called ID tip. Now this will not be used for most people, but what this does, it's just a quality of life thing. And if you hover over an item, it will give its item ID. This is useful if you are somebody who creates TSM groups. As TSM groups, you can utilize that item ID to add them in. Also, if you're somebody who you find yourself creating a lot of custom sources, this is great because you don't have to go online, go to Wowhead to search up this ID. Now, some UIs might already display this. Like, like I believe LVUI already has this implemented. I'm not 100% sure, but to somebody who doesn't use a specific UI, like myself, this is a very helpful add-on. Now, stepping away from add-ons, there are two websites that I want to show you that I think are very important. The first one is Oribos Exchange. This is the more simpler one out of the two, and this is literally just a web version of the auction house. So right now I have my server Wildhammer pulled up, and let's say I need to look at the price of Mirrorroot. Once it loads right here, as you can see, it's just like a traditional UI. You can click on Mirrorroot and you have all of the auctions available, plus a little bit of information like currently there's, you know, about 225,000 available and the current price, median price, etc. Also, it gives you a little bit of a history. So this is the 12 day history of quantity as well as price. So you might be like, okay, why is this even useful? And let's say you are away from WoW. So you might be on a school computer or your work computer, or you just can't log into WoW right now, but you want to calculate stuff, figure out if stuff is profitable, etc. 
You can use this to look at the actual auctions on the current auction house. And if you know, type that into a spreadsheet, you can use this for whatever you need and it's good to go. Also, if you're looking for a quick, simple 12 day summary, this is very helpful. Sometimes, you know, I'm either on my school laptop or I'm just not really, you know, wanting to log in, but I do want to check some stuff. So I can pull up this website and easily check. Also, it's cool because it even shows, you know, the WoW token history, which is pretty cool if you ever want to look back on that. And it is sortable just like a standard auction house. So you can go to Battle Pets, uh, let me remove the name, and there we go. And it basically shows you every single Battle Pet that's currently on the realm. And as you can see, it even tells you when the last time it was actually on the auction house, if there's currently none. Now moving on, let's say you want a little bit more information. So let's say we're looking up Strange Goop because we want to invest in it. All right, on Wild Hammer, there's currently six of them and the you know average price is about 95 gold. If we take a quick look at the 14 day history, according to the 14 day, this is pretty good. I mean, it's currently the lowest it's been in the past two weeks. You know, it almost was at 150,000. You know, almost two weeks ago, it was about 98, and it's back down to 95. So according to this, this seems pretty good. You can also compare the prices right here. So, you know, if we were comparing, let's say I also play on Malganus, I should probably buy it on Malganus because it's a lot cheaper. But let's say that's not enough. Let's say you wanted to look at the history of an item from a month ago or two months or even the start of the expansion. That is where the Undermine Journal comes in. So right here, I've already pulled up Strange Goop. It's on my actual server already and we have that same sort of information. Now it doesn't show me exactly the same way, but there's six available. The cheapest one is currently at 95,000. I get the median price of my server as well as some of the region prices as well. Then just like before, we kind of have that same sort of screenshot from the past few days. But if we keep scrolling, we have more and more information. So right here, this is a six month view of this item. And if we scroll down even more, we have this regional summary. So let's say if we were thinking about investing into this item for Dragonflight, we can see that it was very, very expensive at the start of this expansion, which makes sense because, you know, people were just getting into Xerath Mortis. And sorry, I keep saying expansion, but I mean like the start of 9.2. And then as time has gone on, you know, it's getting cheaper and cheaper. So eventually, you know, we should probably buy these up because they're likely to go up in value once Shadowlands is over because not as many people are in Xerath Mortis. Now there's all of these different charts that you can use. I also like the regional price because let's say you're trying to flip, for example, and you want to transfer these items to another server to sell for a profit. Just quickly looking at this, right now you should probably buy on Sargeras, or Zul'jin, or Thrall, Bleeding Hollow, Tychondrius, any of these. These actually get a little bit pricey, so probably Thrall, Zul'jin, or Sargeras would be your best bet, because these are currently the cheapest of the region. And then let's say you want to sell these on, let's just give a server Moonguard for example. Moonguard, it's currently selling for 100000 so that is a pretty nice profit. So this is just a great website to look at historical data, you know, comparing regions. It gives you all of the info you need. Also, if you ever want the display kind of like this, it has it at the bottom of this profile. So if you ever want to know, like, let's say we go to Sargeras, for example, if we scroll down, as you can see, there's actually a pretty good amount of them at 22,000. So it's not just that, you know, there's 22,000 and then it immediately jumps to 89. There's actually a good amount to purchase. But yeah, that is basically this website. Now to anybody who has used the Undermine Journal before, as you can see, because of the region-wide merge, the Undermine Journal no longer supports commodities. So if you guys were used to looking up Meru and checking out the data, 
it currently no longer exists. So just keep that in mind. If you're looking up commodities, definitely use the Ouroboros Exchange. And if you're looking up some more rare items, battle pets, you know, transmog pieces, weapons, mounts, etc., definitely use the Undermine Journal. But yeah, guys, that is basically it. Thank you so much for watching this video. Hopefully these add-ons slash tools are helpful. And maybe if you're a beginner, you are able to pick up at least one of these to help improve your gold making routine. Of course, if you have any questions, feel free to let me know in the comments down below. And if you want to join our amazing community, feel free to join the Discord. That's the best place to contact me, and it's a great place to hang out and stay updated with the channel. But everybody, thank you so much, and have a good day.